Hi artists! Today we're going to be um, featuring Lee Krasner, who painted during the Abstract Expressionist era. One unique thing about her was that she went through various styles. Even though she painted during the Abstract Expressionist era, she explored how to use her paints in various ways. So the style we are going to study today is um, when she painted um, a lot of hieroglyphics inspired artwork. Um, here are some examples. Uh, she's uh, Jewish American. Her parents emigrated from Ukraine. And so she was familiar with Hebrew. Um, she didn't know how to read it or write it, but she kind of absorbed um, what some of the letters looked like. And so these are some paintings that are kind of inspired by letters and language. And she made abstract art from it. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Okay, we're starting here with a, just a white plain sheet of paper. We'll need um, a ruler, a pencil, a tray of watercolors, and lastly, a white crayon. So I'm gonna make one and a half inch squares just down the page. One and a half. There we go. When we connect the lines, we want to go ever so lightly. So you want to make a really light, light, light pencil mark. Really, so just you can see it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take our white crayon and we're going to Use the first letter of our name as inspiration. We are going to write the letter, the first letter of our name and each of these squares, but each time we write it, the letter is gonna look a little bit different. Now, when you use your white crayon, it's gonna be almost impossible to see. So I just want to give an example of what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use a pen instead. So just so that you can see what I mean. Okay, so this would be one way to make a T, for instance. T is the first letter of my name. Um, another way to make a T is to go like that. Turning it into an abstract shape. Um, another way to make a T. Make, what if I make two T's like that? And really, you're just creating abstract shapes and marks just using your first letter's inspiration. So that isn't even decipherable as a T. You can't even tell that's a T anymore. But um, you just want to kind of create variations on your letter as different as you can. You're going to fill in the space so that your letter touches all four lines. So we'll see if the camera picks it up. But here, I'm going to make my first T like this. I'm going to even fill that in. It's almost like someone who's never seen the um, English alphabet before sees these letters and only looks at them as if they're symbols and, and doesn't know what it, what those letters actually mean. So that's that's kind of how you're thinking about this. Okay. So I can kind of see it, but the camera doesn't pick it up. But it's important that you use a white crayon. I also want to jump in here and say that um, if you start making shapes that don't resemble the first letter at all, that's completely fine. Really just think of your first letter as just a diving block, kind of. For instance, this really does not look like a T, but that's all right. It's just what came to my mind.
And I definitely did some of these designs more than once. You know, there's only so many ways you can think of to vary a letter. Okay. So here we go. Here is my final. Here's my final sheet with all the letters on it. But here comes the fun part. So I'm going to take my watercolors. And we are, you probably guessed that we're using that white crayon like resist. And you've probably done some resist paintings before. Um, so have your paper towel ready because we're going to be wiping the brush a lot. What we're going to do is get some nice washes going, probably darker colors because we want to cover the pencil lines. Let's get some nice washes together. Okay, and we're just going to kind of Cover this with paint until those lines pop out and be loose with it. Do not be rigid. We're combining colors together. Here, it's okay if you get, as long as you don't mess up your painting tray, it's okay if you get a little red in there, a little different colors in there. It's okay. Just, just covering page with um, watercolor colors. Letting those letters pop. And that's pretty cool because you've probably forgotten what you actually drew, you know, because the white crayon was so hard to see. So this is pretty neat. This is like it's all popping out. And you can see how so many of these uh, interpretations are just not even recognizable as T's. time lapse the whole painting the whole page okay that was really fun um, the next one I'm gonna do is just kind of go in um, with a smaller brush and touch up and fill in some spaces just to make this um, to add a little bit more interest. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done. I'm happy with it. I think um, it's an interesting piece because I used one letter and I varied it as much as I could to make these interesting shapes that now look like a completely different language, which is kind of what Lee Krasner did in her paintings. But I put a lot of thought into all the different ways to make a T, and um, I like the, the color choices. Um, you can really go any color palette you want. I just kind of wanted to stay in like the purples and the reds and the blues. Um, so I think that it looks, I mean, it's my own, but it's also, I can tell that it's inspired by uh, Lee Krasner's pieces. It's all about learning processes that other artists have done and then make it your own. So that's what we did today and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.